molecular orbital diagram or energy level diagram i will teach you my personal trick to draw molecular orbital diagram using this trick you can easily draw molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule first of all let me teach you the basic concept of atomic orbitals and molecular orbitals according to molecular orbital theory atomic orbitals combine together to form molecular orbitals for example consider this hydrogen atom we know that it has one atomic orbital let consider the second hydrogen atom it has also one as atomic orbital now when these two hydrogen atoms combine together they form a hydrogen molecule these two atomic orbital combines together to form two types of molecular orbitals one molecular orbital is known as bonding molecular orbital and the second one is known as anti bonding molecular orbital remember that bonding molecular orbital has lower energy while anti bonding molecular orbital has higher energy that's why we put star on anti bonding molecular orbital to summarize this whole concept we learn two important points we learn that number of atomic orbitals is always equal to number of molecular orbitals secondly we learn that there are two types of molecular orbitals bonding molecular orbitals and anti bonding molecular orbitals the bonding molecular orbitals has smaller energy while the anti bonding molecular orbital has higher energy that's why we put star on it hence note it down this important concept now we will learn writing molecular orbitals which a lot of students are not understanding first of all i write atomic orbitals like 1s 2s 2px 2py and 2pz remember that the energy of 2px is equal to 2py let me repeat it the energy of 2px is equal to 2py that's why i put equal sign between them now listen carefully 1s form sigma bond 2s form sigma bond 2px form pi bond 2py form pi bond and 2pz form sigma bond i take these atomic orbitals and i write them here now these atomic orbitals will combine together to form molecular orbitals for example these two atomic orbitals of 1s will combine together to form two molecular orbitals i write 1s and 1s this 1s is bonding molecular orbital and this 1s is anti bonding molecular orbital hence i put star on it similarly these atomic orbitals of 2s will combine together to form two molecular orbitals i write 2s and 2s i put star on it also these atomic orbitals of 2p will combine together to form molecular orbitals i write 2px is equal to 2py 2pz and the anti bonding molecular orbitals 2px is equal to 2py 2pz i put star on them because they have higher energy now listen carefully one s can form sigma bond i put sigma with this one s and with this one s 2s can form sigma bond i put sigma with this 2s and with this 2s 2px and 2py form pi bond i put pi with them while 2pz can form sigma bond i put sigma with them thus this is the most easy way to write molecular orbitals now i will teach you the super easy trick to draw molecular orbital diagram first of all i write here atomic orbital and atomic orbital we know that when atomic orbitals combine together they form molecular orbitals hence i write molecular orbitals in between now listen carefully i write 1s 
it can accommodate two electrons. Secondly, I write 2s. It can accommodate two electrons. I write 2p. It can accommodate six electrons in 2px, 2py and 2pz. If you have learned writing these atomic orbitals, you have already learned 90% diagram of molecular orbital theory. Now I copy these atomic orbitals from the left hand side and I write them at the right hand side. I write 1s, 2s and 2p. We know that when atomic orbitals combine together, they form molecular orbitals. Here this one atomic orbital and this one atomic orbital combine together to form two molecular orbitals. Hence I write 1s and 1s. This is bonding molecular orbital. It has lower energy. While this 1s is anti-bonding molecular orbital and it has higher energy. Hence I put star on it. I draw these two lines. Similarly, this 2s atomic orbital and this 2s atomic orbital combine together to form two molecular orbitals. I write 2s and 2s. I put star on this anti-bonding molecular orbital. I draw these lines. Now these three atomic orbitals of 2p and these three atomic orbitals of 2p will combine together to form six molecular orbitals. 2px and 2py have same energy. I write them together and I write 2pz below them. Let me repeat it. 2px and 2py have the same energy. I write them together and I write 2pz below them. These are three bonding molecular orbitals. I write the remaining three anti-bonding molecular orbitals. 2px is equal to 2py and 2pz. I put star on them. We know that 1s forms sigma bond, 2s forms sigma bond, 2px and 2py form pi bond, while 2pz form sigma bond. Remember that energy of orbital increases from the bottom to the top. I mean sigma 1s has the lowest energy while sigma star 2pz has the highest energy. Thus using this simple trick, we can easily draw molecular orbital diagram. Now consider this oxygen molecule. We know that oxygen molecule has two oxygen atoms. I write one oxygen at the left hand side and one oxygen atom at the right hand side. The atomic number of oxygen is 8. This oxygen atom has 8 electrons. Now according to Aufbau principle, firstly low energy orbitals are filled, then orbitals having high energy. Hence 1s can accommodate 2 electrons, 2s can accommodate 2 electrons, I plus 1 electron in 2px, I plus 1 electron in 2py, 1 electron in 2pz. Lastly, I plus 1 electron in 2px. This is the electronic configuration of oxygen atom. I copy this electronic configuration from the left hand side and I write it at the right hand side. This is the electronic configuration of second oxygen atom. Now we will write the electrons of oxygen molecules. Remember that 1s atomic orbital of this oxygen and 1s atomic orbital of this oxygen do not combine together to form molecular orbitals because they are very small and they have not enough energy to overlap. Let me repeat it. 1s atomic orbital of this oxygen and 1s atomic orbital of this oxygen do not combine together to form molecular orbitals because they are very small and they do not have enough energy to overlap. Hence remember this important point. Therefore we say that this 1s atomic orbital and this 1s atomic orbital are non-bonding. Now the remaining 6 electrons of this oxygen atom and this oxygen atom combine together 
to form total 12 electrons. I will just place these 12 electrons in molecular orbitals according to Aufbau principle. I put 2 electrons in this sigma 2s molecular orbital, 2 electrons in this sigma star 2s molecular orbitals, 2 electrons in sigma 2pz, 1 electron in pi 2px and 1 electron in 2pz. Then again 1 electron in pi 2p and 1 electron in 2p. 2 electrons are remaining. I put 1 electron in pi star 2px and 1 electron in pi star 2py. Hence I have successfully placed these 12 electrons of oxygen molecule. This is the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen gas. Remember that oxygen is paramagnetic in nature. It is because it has two unpaired electrons. Now what about its bond order? Well, bond order is equal to number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbital upon 2. We can see that in bonding orbital, there are two electrons in sigma 2s, two electrons in sigma 2pz, four electrons in pi 2px and 2py. Hence, there are total eight electrons in bonding molecular orbitals. While in antibonding molecular orbitals, there are two electrons in sigma star 2s, two electrons in pi star 2px and pi star 2pz. Hence, there are total 4 electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals. After calculation, I get 2. Thus, the order of oxygen molecule is 2. Therefore, we say that double bond is formed in oxygen molecule. Hence, note it down this important diagram.